greetings from another day with Jesus a daily word by Pastor Preeti from the heart of God as you receive the word prepare your ears and mind to receive him greetings in Jesus name welcome to this beautiful new morning wherever you are may i just take a moment to encourage you you're doing a good job you're growing you are still being cared for you are still loved you are still in this place where god is constantly working on your heart he's working on your life this week you're going to see so many new things being added into your life some of these new things may come as surprises some of these things may even be relationships people that god would place in your life so you can be a blessing to them so you can be an encouragement to them not everybody will be your church member not everybody is going to subscribe to your viewpoint and your theology but you can still encourage them you can still notice the struggles or the difficulties that they are going through so often we are so self obsessed and we are really worried about what we are going through such was the case of joseph when he was in the prison the bible says that he was wrongly accused he was distressed he was hurt he was feeling betrayed and yet the next morning i'm reading genesis chapter 40 and verse 6 when joseph saw them the next morning he noticed that they both looked upset joseph he noticed joseph was not so self obsessed that he failed to recognize what his neighbors were going through he was actively paying attention to what the people around him are going through in spite of him himself going through certain hardships he himself was being imprisoned he was restricted he was put in chains and yet his eyes were noticing other people who are in trouble i hope that this becomes an encouragement for you to do the same sometimes it is not going to be the most likable people that you have to notice it is not the most well dressed people that you have to notice it is not the people that like you that you need to notice there are all kinds of hurting and broken and struggling people around you but today if you will just acknowledge your desire to be a blessing to them god will open up your eyes to see what they are going through god will open up your eyes to see how they are hurting how they are failing today keep your attention and your gaze on those people and continue to gaze at them till god shows you what they are going through and god shows you where they lack god will show you where they are struggling and then god will use you to be an answer to be a blessing to be a solution in their life i want you to go to work with this prayer saying god give me access into people's hearts and give me access into their minds when you go to the supermarket i want you to pray saying god open up this person's life to me open up this person's heart to me the other day i was just praying this prayer over somebody and i was surprised how soon this guy just opened up how soon he just started sharing his life story i didn't even have to ask him in joseph's case he had to ask these two guys what's going on with you but in my case i didn't even have to ask and sometimes god would use the words you speak or the prayers that you pray to open up people's lives to you but what really matters is your willingness and your availability we cannot be so hurt and distressed and challenged with our own worries and troubles that we fail to remember that god has placed us in this world to be the salt of the earth to be the light of the world which means there are going to be people who don't have answers who don't have solutions who don't know the way out of their struggles that will be placed in your life and you have to be the light 
you have to be the taste providing material the salt of the earth in their family in their finances in their relationships if you will just take time to notice for that you may need to slow down for that you may need to deprioritize all the things that you've considered to be a big priority you know the story of the good samaritan how there were three people that went past this man lying down on the road to jericho the first guy he was too busy the second guy he was too busy i'm sure that the third guy was also busy but he had to change his priorities around and he had to say i need to pay attention to this and that was the man who was being a good neighbor to the man on the road to jericho and today the lord is tugging on your heart he is showing you the picture of your classmate he is showing you the picture of your neighbor or that one person that you travel with or that one person that you have been praying for and the lord is also showing you the struggles that they are facing can you be the answer can you be their solution can you be their light carrier can you be the salt of your office can you be the salt in your apartment can you be the person that people will run to when they have the same kind of struggle we all pray that god would use us like joseph was used but seldom do we ask for access into people's lives or grace to help people with their problems we pray that god would use us for the nation but what about the two people who are being ignored who are in the same prison as you are will you help them your ability to bless your nation your ability to be a blessing to the nations of the earth begins with your willingness to help the two ordinary and unknown people struggling with you in your own prison i pray this word will become a revelation to you and that god will use you today for his glory in jesus name amen we hope this word has divinely spoken into your spirit for further details and resource connect with us at pasprijee.com let his heavenly power lead your day ahead 